Hello, we're back in the kitchen at Munchies, and we're going to make eggs benedict, but not just any eggs benedict, okay? Because it is going to include jumbo lump crab meat, or if you live in a place where you have Alaska king crab, or you like snow crabs, Dungeness crabs, use whatever crab meat you want. This is very flexible. The one thing I will not be flexible on is that you will use Old Bay, because Old Bay and crab, they're made for each other. Much like me and Pete Davidson were made for each other, Old Bay and crab. I think that I'm the old bay in that scenario, and he's the he's the crab. We're going to poach some eggs first of all. Poaching eggs means you're just gonna cook it in water. Now one trick that I find helps is doing eight cups of water in here, and then a quarter cup of white vinegar. The white vinegar is going to help kind of set the whites. Instead of cracking it directly in there, pouring it into a bowl just makes it easier to do that. And then I do immediately kind of get of a swirl because you can see it kind of seals up the white a little bit. I'm gonna do it two and a half minutes. Eggs Benedict it was invented at some stage by some person, okay? There's three different stories out there in the world. My personal favorite that I'm gonna go with is at Delmonico's, America's first restaurant here in New York City, invented Eggs Benedict. And I like that story, so we're gonna to stick to that, okay? Some other one says that Commander Benedict made these eggs, or this dish. Who knows? Someone else said, someone else made it. Don't even know who that person was, because that's how little I care about the story. These are gonna be perfectly cooked. Look at, they're so cute. And then we're gonna put it into this bowl of ice water. That kind of holds it. You can make these ahead of time. You have friends coming over for brunch. So it's gonna cool it down, not overcook it. They're gonna stay there. Next up, I'm gonna melt a little bit of my butter right here, maybe a couple tablespoons worth, and I'm going to toast my buns. Traditionally, when I think of Eggs Benedict, I think of it on an English muffin. We have actually a recipe for English muffins on our website. Anyways, they're known for the old nooks and crannies. You can use regular toast, you could use no bread, and just put them on top of a crab cake. That'd be delicious. Get it warmed on the other side, a little toasty. All right, look, these are getting nice and toasted. Golden. All right, we're gonna add our crab into here. Melt the butter. Also need to melt my butter for my hollandaise, okay? So this is eight tablespoons, one stick exactly. We're gonna melt it over low heat. <sighs> so right now, Pete's just waking up to the smell of butter and toast. <laughs> it's so pathetic. <laughs> All right, crab is going into the butter. I'm gonna add some Old Bay because, duh, why wouldn't I? Oh, yes. I can't say enough good things about crab. Just God's gift to man is really this, the crab, okay? You don't even need to season this with salt because Old Bay has salt in it. Let that be a little lesson to you as well. What are the differences between all these crab foods? I don't know much about crab. What? Okay. You got Dungeness crab from Pacific Northwest. You got Alaska king crab from Alaska. You got Maryland blue crab from Maryland. Snow crab from the snow. And <laughs> it's true. I dare you to contradict me. Every crab, they're a little bit different. This is all from blue crab. We can make crab soup, crab cakes, crab dip. Crab pretzels, crab steamed, crab benedict. So many things. It's like bubble gump. That's me. Bubble gump, crab gump. Oh man, okay, this is looking really good. And look, I'm keeping the lumps whole and intact. This is also so good, because the way I eat crab is I sit there and I pick it and I make piles. Like, I'm not the kind of person who will pick and eat as I go. I make a pile of crab meat and then I soak it in butter and then I dip it in apple cider vinegar. And it's so good. And so this is basically that and then adding an egg and making it breakfast. It's awesome. I'm gonna keep my crab meat warm. My butter is melted. Don't wanna burn it or anything like that. I'm gonna pour it in here. It's gonna be easier me to add into my hollandaise sauce if I have it in something that is pourable. Okay, now, hollandaise. Literally, it could not be easier. One of the mother sauces out there, as well as tomato sauce, bechamel, something else, and something else. Velute. Velute? No, that's not no. bechamel, that's not Espanol. mother sauce. Espanol, and what else? Hot Espanol. Espanol. No, we didn't. I want three egg yolks for this also. Okay, so I'm gonna... It is blue tie? So they know something. Whatever. Three egg yolks. Three egg yolks. See how they crack. See how they crack. They all go into the blender over here. And then we add some more things, have no fear. It will be delicious. Don't you worry, my dear, for three egg yolks. That was pretty cute. Do you think we can use that, RNC? 
All right, blender hollandaise. People often get a little bit scared, like I said, about making hollandaise. When I was on the old brekkie shift, we used to make it in a Thermomix and then keep it hot in like one of those um, foam guns and you would foam it onto the, you know what I'm talking about? The siphons, which is great, don't get me wrong, but no one has that at home. And also this is so easy. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt into here. Old Bay, of course, because it wouldn't be Crab's Egg Benedict without Old Bay and everything. Throw it in. And then some lemon juice, about two tablespoons. I'm gonna give this a little bit of a whiz just to kind of get it emulsified a little bit to start. What makes people scared of making hollandaise is this right here. All of a sudden, they're gonna sit there. It's like making a mayonnaise. Your mayonnaise is gonna break. It's gonna split. Because you're adding melted butter right on here. And you're gonna add it slowly. And that is going to allow it to emulsify. And the key is to add it slowly in the beginning. And then you can kind of add it faster at the end. But this is basically, I, I don't think you can break it. You can break it. But this is like doing it in a blender. It just makes it so much easier. So if you broke this, it means that like, it looks like it's split. We're gonna add it a little bit faster. Basically done. There's some milk salts at the bottom. I'm just gonna ignore that. This is ready. I'm gonna warm my eggs through in this warm water. Use my hands. Look at these beautiful eggs. Nice, I'm gonna take off that little taily bit, dump it on in and they're not gonna overcook or anything. They're cooked to perfection. All right, look, beautiful, beautiful avocado. Squeeze some lemon over this guy. Also over this, because why not? We're gonna cut this. I'm gonna put some crab on the bottom of this. All right, eggs are ready. That right here. Don't forget to season your egg with a bit of salt and your avocado as well. A little bit more juice because this tastes so good. It's all nice and juicy and lemony. A little bit of black pepper. And now, our beautiful hollandaise. Oh, uh, Old Bay, you can see it right in there. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, I almost forgot. Sicily. A little bit of crispy garlic over the top, just for a little bit of crunch. And also, garlic, why not? Ooh, this is gonna be good. Very easy poached eggs. A simple, simple hollandaise. That was ready so quick. Oh, look at it. Perfectly poached. Get a little bit of crab, a little bit of avocado, English muffin. That's where it's at. This is the breakfast of champions right here. It's what you cook the day after. After what you ask? I don't know. What are you doing? Make this the next day. Please, for the recipe, click the link below. In New Zealand, I cooked for Peter Jackson and all the hobbits. It was me and Frodo and him hanging out. The magician guy was across the way. Gandalf. <laughs> <Hands> <laughs> the old magician. <laughs> See your card. See your card.